Hmm. Well, hello everyone and welcome to a Fleet Ops audio commentary. This is Triptych. This is my second replay I've ever done. And the first one wasn't very good because I had some audio and visual issues. So, I'm going to be trying again. Hopefully this time I'll do okay. And you guys will enjoy it. Today we have a 3v3 on Plasma Conduit, version 0 0.5. It's a map that I made, so it's it's still a work in progress. I've been making some small balance tweaks, but it's come a long way. Now let's introduce the players here. On the top we have the red, white, and blue team. We have Rainbow Killer as White Romulans, and then Tiger and Kampf. Kampf. Tiger is probably Borg, it looks like. As I load the texture, yeah, Kampf is Borg. And he's, oh sorry, Conk is here, he's going to rage quit because I got his race wrong. And Rainbow Killer is Borg, so we have Romulan Borg Federation. Down here we have, loading again, we have Fuzzy as Klingon, Dur as Dominion, and Stardust as Klingon as well, so we have a widespread down here we have a Takraja, a two Takraja. So pretty even spread. We've got a Dominion Center here versus a Borg Center, and then the sides are more cloaky raidy types. Um, the layout for this map is the center player has three moon pairs he can access right off the bat. However, as you can see, the Dilithium are much easier to raid than the Tritanium. Um, the side players, this one has split moons with a bit of a forward dilithium here, and then a tritanium that's very safe back here. While the other player has a combined expansion. So you see a lot of fighting right around here. And this is not the latest version of the map. In 0.6, I added two more dilithium moons down here on both sides, and I shifted these start positions over a tiny bit. So I'm hoping to not have it focus so much. The idea is you should be able to go around the outside of this curve thing here and raid people that way. But I need to make that more enticing because it's too easy for them to just run straight through the middle here and kill you while you're going on your raid. So let's take a look at the others. Here we have Breen and I see Breen Cruiser Spam. I love Breen Cruiser Spam if it works. Um, Optiborg and I don't see here, but it might. Whoa, hidden constructor. There we go. This is a uh, Halev Romulan. So, going back, now that I know everything, we have Rainbow Killer as Halev Romulan, Tiger as Optiborg, and Conk as. Mason Feds. Down below we have Fuzzy as Takarja Klingon, Dur as Breen Dominion, and Stardust as Takarja Klingon. We have Katinga Burrell, probably going to turn into Katinga Kavort soon. Not a bad option against Federation, whose torpedo heavy lineup in the beginning doesn't do too well against small ships. Here we have, looks like a forward platform. And we're back from that. So we have Intrepid Monsoon going into his science. They're probably going to advance towards um, Orpins. The Borg are setting up their mining very quickly. Conduction Matrix is done. Nodes level 1 is probably done. We have Skube and Probe. That is a regen cube. So probably going to get a periphery and mess around with lots of those. We have Laval over here. And this, I don't know how well this will work. You have to be careful if you're doing uh, two dilithium, one tritanium, and trying to do Laval's. You won't be able to get your second upgrade very quickly. But he's also got griffins in there. Very dilithium heavy. 
we have early battle yard here, which is interesting. A Takrajah battle yard and Katinga, or sorry, and uh, Kavort. Looks like Fuzzy's really going heavy tech. Um, I think in this game, Fuzzy is the newest player, so he's got the most to learn. And by the time we're done, he'll probably be the most improved player. There's a Klingon on Fed raid. I don't think they're going to be able to kill anything. Although, at the entrance of this yard's on the top. They may get a miner. It's not going to be easy, though. And once this platform upgrades, they're going to have a much harder time raiding. And I see a uh, pulse platform. No, sensor platform. The Borg have chosen to come over here and harass. The Dominion is getting his forward auto repair. Finally getting into Breen Cruisers. That, that one takes a while to start out. And C-11s. He's probably hoping to use the weapon focus range upgrade on the Breen. I hope that works out. I'd, I've had some troubles with that. With it being bugged out and not actually granting the range bonus. There's a Rainbow Killer's raid. A Cavort coming in, it's not going to die, it can just repair. A little bit of confusion about which one he was targeting. He may get this kill, but probably not. Once a Griffin comes out, that'll be nicer. This is turning into a long fight here. We did lose a probe. All these Katingas running around. Kabej. Did he lose a Cavort? I think he might have lost a Cavort while I wasn't watching. My apologies, I'll watch better. If this fed plat, if the second platform comes up and upgrades, this will be completely over, though. And that's a problem on my part. I moved these moons further back, well, further out, actually, in the modified one. Oh, Breen. Breen fire. Where is it? Where is the beautiful Breen? I can't find it. There it is. All these torpedoes. Oh, they'll do great against that sucker. These do extra damage to medium and... Let me see. They do significantly reduced damage to small ships, I believe. So, these are terrible about any against anything small. However, they rip battleships apart. And medium range ships. Here we have another fed warping. This is very quickly going in the direction of the top team's favor. All of these Katingas are holding their own, surprisingly. This green, green cruiser going straight through the nebula, trying to shortcut there. But then he gives it an order and it tries to escape, which is going to cause it to die. Almost paid off. He could have headed for the green. We have these Romulans getting raided. Or Romulans raiding. Fuzzy is a little bit hung up. I think he may have overtacked. Because he can't produce from both the battle yard and those two divisions of his field yard. We do see a skewed go down. And now these guys are in a bad position. I think the uh, Excel died bit of lag again. We've got so many people in this game. <laughs> oh, huh. Oh, there's... Yeah. That is a bad number right there. You want that under 200? <laughs> That's part of the network le latency. And... Who am I lagging to? I'm not lagging to anybody in particular. The whole network's just a little bit sketchy. So, did they kill that sensor nip? Oh, wow, look at that. Tractor snags it back under the turret, and it's fine. 
So I don't see the Klingons losing too many ships, although I haven't been watching perfectly. They do have their proxy yard right there in the middle. Trying to pump out Kabej, Kavort. But without some serious support from Dura, he's just not going to do it. Dura has decided that Breen Cruisers aren't going to help him too much. Or maybe he doesn't have the money to double yard them yet. So he's just getting his A20s. He really needs to support one of his allies. But when he does, he'll do well. Over here, Comp and... Oh, come on. I'm sorry I'm forgetting these names. Comp and Tiger are coordinating very well. We've got that Mason turret, and this whole area is theirs. Federation turrets have gotten it. Um, Stardust is doing an admirable job of holding them off. Definitely. He does have... Uh, he only needs mining out of one moon pair, though. And as these Breen Cruisers start to add up, they actually could have a big effect. 